The New York State Senate passed a bill that intends to address equity and barriers to reproductive and maternal health. WENY's New York Capital correspondent Elise Klein breaks it down and talks with lawmakers and physicians about the impact. At a time when maternal mortality remains high, this week the Senate passed a bill to enhance the scope of health equity assessments to now include reproductive and maternal health services. We really need to uh, not only reduce maternal mor mortality, but also expand access to services. Health equity assessments are collected by the New York State Department of Health. When WENY reached out to the Department of Health, they said they would not comment on pending legislation. Senator Webb says this bill could help the legislature address what are known as maternal health deserts, where some communities have limited to no access to maternal health care. She hopes this legislation will lead to an expansion of resources. A physician with Guthrie Clinic says if care ranging from mammograms and pap smears to prenatal care isn't being provided, the likelihood of an individual's health suffering is very high. Women who do not get prenatal care, that they're at risk for preterm labor. They're at risk for the babies not growing properly. They're at risk themselves because we know that diabetes and high blood pressure are issues that some of our moms struggle with. Dr. Aragin says this bill is a step in the right direction in addressing barriers to care, like language and transportation, can increase positive maternal and reproductive health outcomes. The bill will now go to the assembly floor for a vote, and if it is passed in the exact same language, it will then go to the governor's desk for her signature. In Albany, Elise Klein, WENY News.